Hello, 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 hello everyone around the world. Hello Zimbabwe, South Africa, all over the world. How are you guys? So let's fix something today. We have this TV. This is some kind of 24-inch TV that came in for repair from a rural customer. And what the customer is saying, he's saying the TV just exploded and it went off. He, vice versa, you know the TVs, this some kind of small TV. This is a 24-inch Echo TV. You know these TVs, you can you can uh, plug it on uh, 12 volts DC on on batteries. So what the owner did, he, he, he vice versa, positive and negative, and the TV explodes, and that was all. And people they are trying to fix things. This TV is open. Yeah, the TV is in pieces. You can see here. We have the front glass here. You see here. And uh, we have some buttons. What I want to do, uh, the power supply is already on 11 point. 11.26 volts. Let's see the embrage. Three amps. Let's lower the current to to two amps. One point nine. That should be fine. I'll plug in here. We have the connector at the back. Plug in. It's taking nine milliamps, and obvious. We must have some kind of light here. Here, we must have standby light. So pressing the power, no change of current, and the TV is just dead. Uh, okay. Let's check out the screen. Now. We can access the motherboard. We now have access to the motherboard. Huh? This is the motherboard of this of this small TV. Here we have a blown up capacitor. These are some screws. Let's take down let's take down this motherboard out. You know this is some kind of small TVs they are dying easily. Especially this processor is dying so easily. And you know what? Check what the owner did. He sold that the two wires so that he can connect direct to the battery. Huh? People they are learning. People they are learning. So basically the ma this motherboard I can see an exploded capacitor here. Uh another exploded chip there. We have some diodes, four diodes in parallel mode. We have the EPROM, we have the processor. Let's check few things. Diet mode. Let's start checking some things. Huh? So what we are checking here? You know, what I learned over time on this motherboard, I start, I go straight on the VC scene of the EPROM I see, the BIOS, whatever you call it. Memory chip. I go on the last pin. Because that pin is meant to sub to supply 3.3 volts. And if it's grounded, in most cases, this process has gone. So I don't want to waste time. So this is pin number 4 is ground. And pin number 8 looks good. Okay. 
it looks good we have some diodes here the diode looks good here we have exploded electrolyte capacitor we don't care about that capacitor i will replace it we have a coil here and a coil here this coil is not beeping to ground and the other coil is beeping to ground and you know what this coil which is beeping to ground this is the 5 volts power supply for the standby which is always on it's shorter to ground and i will tell you why i will tell you why you have to see what i'm seeing here so let's go on a microscope let's go on a microscope we have to see this together so that the exploded capacitor you see this one that the exploded capacitor yeah that's what happens when if you you spin the plus and minus you can burn many things or if we you supply high voltage and this chip the chip is blown up you can see this chip the chip is exploded so that is the story here so we don't have this chip and that the the five volts regulator so let's take down this chip quickly without wasting time without wasting time was i want to check short on that coil after i've removed the chip but I know the chip is faulty because it's, it's exploded. And how should I do it smart? Huh? Because we have a plastic connector there. How should I do this much? Let's try to remove this connector. This plastic connector. Let's took this out plastic out. So that it won't melt, we'll put it back later. And the plastic the plastic is out. Now let's take that chip out. The chip is out, and we have problem of this capacitor. That capacitor. Here. Yeah. 
We need to take down the pins of this exploded capacitor. We need to take down this capacitor. Oh. And this capacitor is what the output of the 5 volts power supply. So I believe this must be 10 volts to 16 volts, somewhere there. What I want to do, let's test for short on this coil. And there's no more short anymore because we took out the shorted sheep. So, how we are going to fix this? Huh? Uh, let's look for a, for a capacitor. While he's thinking what we can do here, let me look for a capacitor. 10 volts 470, that should be fine. 10 volts 470. There's nothing bad with 10 volts. With the 10 volts capacitor on a 5 volts power rail. There's nothing bad about that. So, how we are going to replace that chip? I think I once, I once have a similar case. And uh, you remember what you use? We use, we use a linear regulator. 7805. If I do remember. I'm not here with the with the temperature of this soldering iron. Maybe it's a good moment to change the tip because it's on max temperature, but it's not it's not performing its task to the best. Capacitor replaced. Now, now we need a linear regulator. Hmm? Uh, we need a linear regulator. Let's see. Let's see this. What is this? No, this one is seven eight twelve. That's not the one. Let's let's look for a linear regulator. Hmm? What about this one? What about this one? Check our regulator seven eight zero five. Huh? That's our regulator. So let's do we have the input output input ground and then output. P number one is the input. 
P number two, ground. P number three, that's the output. I don't know wh what I was trying to do here. Because this is already, we have some wires here, except one for the input. So you need one wire. We need one wire here. We need one wire for the input. Okay. Now, now, you know what? I was supposed to test. Why is it? I'm trusting this regulator. We have to test it. Input ground not shorted. Output ground shorted. Input output not shorted. The, the regulator looks fine. The regulator looks fine. So let's solder the regulator. Okay, which one is the plus here? So the brown, the brown wire is the plus. So let's put here input on the brown. So let me sort at this regulator and then we'll. We'll see what's going on here. So what I've done here, that's our linear regulator 7805. Uh, P number one, the red wire is going straight on the plus of the charging port, 12 volts. And P number two, I saw that on the VGA uh, connector here, which is ground. And the, the output P number 3, which is on the output, I saw that the exactly on the 5 volts power supply. So, is that good moment to test? <clears throat> I'll plug in the power supply. Yeah. We have to pay attention here. We must see some light. If everything is okay. You see the red light? And is is taking thirty nine. Okay, the regulator is cool. On, let's see if the this light is changing from red to to blue or green. And it's now green. The TV is now on. So <clears throat> let me bring the screen. Let me bring the screen. I really need to see if I really need to see if everything is fine here. We have the inverter board. Let me connect to all the cables here. Uh, what do we need at this moment? Uh, 
own any picture and we have nothing on the screen you can see the light here but we have nothing on the screen let me check all the connectors let's see now I've put all the connections in place let's try one more chance one more time you can see the red light here maybe you can see what's going on here you can see the red light here on and you can see the echo sign supposed to be like this supposed to be like this so the TV is working fine I've done my duty huh? so basically that's how you can fix a dead uh, TV motherboard you have to improvise uh, you don't stop when you can't find the chip you have to find a way how you can fix this so what was the problem a blown up capacitor and uh, i don't know why this screen is giving you some reflections but the most important thing we managed to fix this off the problem was the 5 volts power supply for the standby which was off the the chip you remember that chip that we replaced in the the capacitor uh, that is usually happening if you put positive and negative terminal on the other way around if you do vice versa bad things can happen so again echo sign and our tv is working i don't know if this is a, a screen issue which is causing some some lines but uh what i can say like subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates and see you on the next one bye